the difference between wisdom and knowledge. Just because I fucked you doesn't mean I didn't know you were a jerk. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> Letter to an old poet. As if all I have to do is sit down, allow my heart to break open, and watch all the stories tear out of it like little boys in some Norman Rockwell painting I always wished I was. No. No. It's not like that at all. Right. Right, and then rage at your insanity that keeps insisting everything comes out like Athena from Zeus, perfectly formed. Bullshit. Bullshit. She must have shaved her legs before she popped out of daddy's head. Right. Right, and then ignore all else. Grab the day like a crucible. Beg it. Demand it to do all the things it's supposed to do. Keep you safe when you put down a word that has been told repeatedly that no one gives a flying fuck what tale it tells. Write and then cry. No one is here. No one has to know when you cry you look like your sister's broken heart, the one she insisted she never lived in once. Once. <laughs> Write and then cry too hard. You don't have to know where the secrets leak from in lead pencils now preferred. You keep missing mom's black felt pen, her own scrawlings trying to save her soul, her art, her mind, and at the end, the knowledge of her own name. Do you know who I am, I kept asking her. Right. And when you can't, use sneaky, mean tricks like Listening to songs you secretly hate listening to. You never got to be like one of those girls who love those songs. Their parents had the money for summer camps and matching towels. Let's face it, you and the girl upstairs who are freaks of nature, both of you hiding what really was going on behind closed doors while wearing out-of-date hand-me-downs from the neighbors or the cheap crap from Delancey Street desperate to blend in with the popular ones who seem to have gotten the memo of how to step through glass walls without severing limbs. Write, and then weep as you leave Egypt. You love that parched land and shaded corners of familiar. You just couldn't stop wanting a life of freedom. You just didn't want to die trying to understand bondage. Weep, weep, and then Go right. It isn't a wall that stops your pencil. It's a heart that may never be finished of its tears. Wow. Thank you.